Good morning, everyone, and a very warm welcome to St Andrews Online. I hope you're having a good summer. Now, I don't want to wish the summer away. I love summer. But in another couple of weeks, we'll be into September and a new term. I wonder how you're feeling about that. Maybe you're looking forward to it, getting back to school, perhaps a new class or a new teacher. Some of you will be going to a new school. And so you might have a new uniform or a new school bag or a new pencil case. We tend to like new things, don't we? Some new things have a very distinctive smell. Have you ever sat in a new car? It smells new. And we love new clothes or new trainers. New trainers have a nice smell until you've worn them for about half an hour. And what about new tech? It's nice, isn't it, to have a new games console or a new phone or a new telly, one that has super high definition. And while I'm on the subject of new, very soon the new football season will begin. I knew you'd be pleased about that. It's not always true, but sometimes new things are better than old things. My new phone is much better than my old one. A new car will probably be more efficient than an old one. A new games console will probably have better games and better graphics than the old one. Now, the reason I'm going on about new stuff today is that in our Bible reading a bit later on, we're going to see that Jesus came to bring something new. He didn't come to tweak Judaism. He didn't come to tweak old religion. He came as God's forever king and as the Lord of all to bring something much, much better than everything that has gone before. Well, we're going to find out about that a bit later on. And for one day only, we've even got a new preacher. Well, not completely new, but today our dear friend Andy Mills is going to be teaching us from God's word. It will be lovely to hear Andy again. Well, that's coming up a bit later on. As we start, let me lead us in an opening prayer. Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, we have so much to thank you for. Thank you for all the new things we are able to enjoy in this country. But we pray this morning that we will not be distracted by things that we have, whether new or old, but that we will be excited to see all that Jesus came to bring and make possible for us. Help us to listen as Andy brings your word. Help us to have soft hearts that are ready to receive your word. Help us all to be thrilled afresh with Jesus today. And as well as listening to your word, please help us to worship and praise you and to pray to you. And we ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, our first song this morning reminds us of our need to listen to the words of Jesus and to build our lives on his word. Because if we don't, then whatever we build our lives on will collapse when the storms of life come our way. So let's stand to sing our first song, Don't Build Your House on the Sandy Land. <laughs> 